So usually when I'm doing filming projects, I do not have my hair down. But this is my my attempt at trying to cover up the fact that I only had like four hours sleep. So I thought maybe if I've got my hair down, I won't look as tired. <laughs> That's an answer, that's the best I can give you at this time. So, um, yeah, there's been some, well, just some unexpected things have come up for me this afternoon, and, um, I have done a recording regarding it. I'm just, I'm in an arm whether I should post it on here. Uh, is extremely sensitive um, but you know I did say that I'd be encouraging vulnerability by being vulnerable myself um, so I do think I will post it um, just a heads up for when it does um, it's quite a long video um, but that's simply just because it took me a while to actually get the words out um, but yeah, we'll, I'll probably post it in a little bit, um, just turn it over. But yeah, I do think I am going to post it because I think it's important and it shouldn't be something I should be ashamed to say. Um, on, and hopefully it encourages somebody too, so yeah, I'll probably be sharing that content shortly. Okay, so I've just stepped out to do this recording. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to include it in my vlog or not um, but I'm going to record it anyway because it's a, I think it's quite a significant moment for me um, and I think it'll be good to document um, so I'm at an event this weekend um, and um, when I, well basic backstory um, when I was 17 um, I experienced a sexual assault and, um, and earlier this year, um, I decided to actually report that to me. 17, um, I experienced a sexual assault. And, um, and earlier this year, um, I decided to actually report that to, me, to the police. Um, six years later, and um, it was really difficult for me. Um, and the investigation um, was actually closed um, a few months back. So yeah, it's it's hard. I don't know whether to try and shake off the feeling or just let myself feel it because you know for six years I shook it off, um, and I don't feel like he should have that right anymore for me to disregard my feelings. Um, but at the same time, I don't want him to have that power to impact how my weekend goes just because of his presence so yeah I'm not sure how I'm going to go forward um, but yeah I thought it'd be good to just document how I'm feeling and talk about it a little bit because I'm not sure what to do next part of me wants to just and um, the other part of me wants to be the bigger person and just move on but to be honest I'm not really in that place I'm just more in the but we'll see so um, I tried to just go back in the room and push through what I was feeling but I thought you know what why should I try and do this on my own when I can ask God for help um, so I approached Veronica who's one of our prayer ministry leaders um, and I asked her to pray with me about this situation and honestly I just want to say thank you Veronica um, for making yourself available to let God speak through you um, and I've just I've been encouraged that God is holding my hand and he is with me at this event all the way through and through all my life and everything I've experienced and felt given this situation and it's taken courage to get to where I am right now in this room yes, um, and that courage comes from God and it will continue to fill me throughout this weekend and forevermore so I just want to say thank you again it means a lot of pleasure <laughs> my pleasure my pleasure <laughs> We're in the happy place.
Yeah. Jamaican audio Bible. Mm. Nick loves the bill, boy. <laughs> Did they give us our tempers? Oh, they gave us a drink. This is really slow. That's what it was, was the point. <laughs> yeah, she that was even better. Things all done, and now I'm gonna have a good night's sleep. And I just wanted to say, first, I want to say thank you to everybody who has um, sent me messages privately based upon what I shared today um, words of encouragement, support, um, and even their own experiences that are similar to mine. And I um, just want to thank God for this space to share and shine a light on these difficult topics, um, and also for you guys um, being able to receive it and. Um, give support where needed. Um, I wanted to just share a brief testimony based upon my prayer session I had today with Veronica. Um, before I went to go and see Veronica, um, the person was a few rows behind me in the hall and it was quite unsettling for me. Um, and uh, I, I basically asked that, my prayer request was that I wouldn't feel as intimidated in this space. Um, and Veronica actually asked God to impress on his heart to give me space and not be in, not be in close proximity with me in this arena, in this event. Um, and praise God, I went back into the hall and um, he had moved seats um, and I could not see where he was sat in the whole hall um, for the rest of the afternoon. So, um, yeah, I really just appreciate that God did that for me and just kind of, took a difficult situation out of my hands and took control of that and helped me so for anyone who is feeling overwhelmed by something can't do it on their own god is always ready to help you in the best way he sees fit um so yeah prayer does change things when you really believe you're talking to someone you know <laughs> so yeah, i just want to encourage anybody to give it a try if you really mean it it will really work